Hello tech fans out there, welcome to Troll Lands. I'm Rex Inoridel, your host today. Uh, I have been hearing a lot of complaints about Corsair H100 and H80. The pumps are making weird noises. So today I will be taking it apart and try to figure out what is causing the problem and noise. So guys, as you can see, I have the Corsair H100 pump right here. As you can see, I already cut off the tubing. Uh, the first thing I will be doing is uh, checking the water flow um, and comparing it with a Corsair H50 pump. This is my special thing I check the flow rate of pumps with. Uh, there will be <laughs> some spills so I am ready with a lot of uh, paper towels. Uh, a bottle full of water, these bottles come in handy sometimes. I have this uh, pump connected to a power supply, really old power supply, so now I will be filling this up with water and checking the water flow. Uh, as you can see the flow rate of this pump is okay. It's not that great and not that bad either uh, But I think it will be a little hard for this pump to push that much water through that dual 120 millimeter radiator, but uh, the Loop still manages to um, cool the CPU pretty well so let's compare it with a Corsair H50 pump. So guys, uh, this is the Corsair H50. As you can see, this uh, pump has a pretty uh, impressive flow rate uh, compared to a Corsair H100 or H80 pump. This is pretty good. Even though this is normally running a single 120 mm radiator, even though you can hear the water bubbles inside, it's pretty much giving a good amount of flow rate. So next, I'm going to take apart the Corsair H100 pump and take a look inside. Guys, bear in mind that uh, the pump I have is uh, one of the defective pumps. Uh, it was making a pretty loud noise when it was in my rig. Uh, so let's take a look inside. So in order to take this apart, the first thing you want to do is remove the mounting brackets. Uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, remove the top part which actually contains all the um, components that controls the fans and the pump itself and it is actually uh, controlled by the Corsair link. So in order to remove that uh, you have uh, four clips on two sides of the pump so you want to push them with a screwdriver or something like that and take it off. So as you can see it came off pretty easily you want to remove the cables first. Uh, the, this is the pump cable and this is uh, the temperature uh, regulator and this is what it looks like. So the next thing you want to do is uh, remove these four screws and take out the actual pump motor itself.
So uh, this is what it look inside of the motor housing and this is uh, the motor. Uh, so what I can say uh, looking at this is uh, that Corsair has not chipped out on anything. This is a regular DC LT pump motor and this performs pretty well. So the flow rate is uh, not the problem with the motor itself but as you can see the opening for the water flow intake is pretty narrow, very narrow. So the motor has to work uh, pretty well. This is very hard for the motor. So the next thing I'm going to do is remove the plate and take a look inside of that. So uh, these are the fins inside of the plate. Uh, you can see the fins are very uh, close to each other, very tensed and it is very restrictive. So also there the pump has to do a lot of work to push all the water. And it has a rubber uh, grommet on the top which helps to circulate the water. Basically, the water goes in from here, circulates, pushes through the fins and goes in over here and goes out of the pump. And that's how it works. So The next thing I will be doing is running this thing uh, without any, <laughs> actually without any water on air. Uh, and this thing comes off and try to see what happens so this is the pump motor running uh, as you can hear it is not uh, that much of a noise and uh, I do not recommend to do this because it might damage your pump you're not supposed to run it without water but it is just to show you. There are a lot of people who is actually putting a um, um, register under over here uh, and lowering down the RPM to get rid of the noise and that is actually working. But what I suggest you to do if you are using a register, do not put a register on this cable because this is actually running this uh, circuit board and it's recommended to run this controller at 12 voltage. So do not do that, it will damage the board. So what I recommend is if you have to put a register, put a register on the pump cable so it will only reduce the pump voltage, not the controller itself and that will be a lot safer and you won't damage your controller so guys i have taken apart the corsair h50 pump 2 uh, this is what it looks like inside of the pump uh, this is a thing that goes in the middle and this is the plate uh, i pretty much screwed up the fins uh, as you can see the holes here are pretty wide and no restriction same for here the holes are pretty wide and it allows you to have a good amount of water flow in the pump so this whatever restriction you have you have a little bit of restrictions only onto the fins and nowhere else so this is what allows the Corsair H50 to have that um, good water flow compared to the Corsair H100. I wouldn't go into the argument of which pump is better and more stronger, but I would say the Corsair H100 pump has a lot more restriction in water flow than um, Corsair H50. 
So my theory of the noise, I have two theories for it. Uh, the first theory is uh, the motor RPM ramps up to max and makes the noise. And second theory is due to the restriction of the pump itself, if you get a tiny bit of air bubble inside, it can't escape and makes the noise. So for me, this uh, pump is pretty much useless because I can't, uh, I tried adding it to a modified water loop, but the restriction was so much that it didn't push water very well and the temperatures was very high. So if you want to modify this, I would recommend you use this. And there are reservoirs out there with a DC LT pump mounts, you can buy those and put it in there. This is a pretty good uh, pump motor itself. This is, this performs very well and this will give you a very good flow rate itself. And uh, what I will be doing as an extra because um, I have a Corsair link and I would like, I wouldn't want to take this away. So, I will be uh, putting this on the side panel of my computer uh, chassis and um, it, it, it will look, it will light up and it will look good uh, and also use this as an extra fan controller. So thank you fellows taking your time watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you very much.